Simon, um, end of round six, we just finished round seven, you ID'd into the top eight, is that correct? That is correct. So yeah. uh, my opponent was Mokuchi, uh, Andre Mokuchi. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he was on 18 points, so we just like ID'd into the top eight. Yeah. Okay, good. So your record today is six wins? Six wins, one loss. Um, one loss came from a really aggressive red, uh, red black deck. Yep. Um, so my game plan was to play defensive, and I wasn't defensive enough, and he said red deck. Right. And do you remember who that player was? Uh, no? No, that's okay. Um, so talk us through your selections today and why you decided to go with blue and white. Yeah. So obviously it went white because I opened an absent. Absent is the biggest part we can get in limited, or the biggest part. Um, unfortunately in white I didn't have quite as many removals. So the standout cards would be your uh, less lights and your checking results. But the rest of the cards I sort of fill up with your cheap flies, the games you like, um, cheap attackers, um, and then just a bit more spread synergy. Excellent. And removal. Yeah, so on my deck there was lacking removal, and um, I saw my red, I had a red in flames. This card um, has overperformed for me today, so there was a couple games when I was behind and I was able to catch up. Choose to discard. So I actually had to splash red and this is the red card for my, my deck. Um, to sort of facilitate that, I had my uh, Warp Landscape and I also had the uh, Fragment to help facilitate the red nice. card. Yeah. So I know some people would argue against going a splash just for a single card, but you said it overperforms it. Would you say it's the most valued card in your deck or not? Um, I would still say Abyssin is my most valued card. So closely followed up by the Doctrine. So because of this card, I tried to play a few more spells than I normally would. And I still think this card would have been great uh, playing those spells, just on the fight for one as well. So generally speaking, to anyone watching this interview, what advice would you give them going into the uh, GP next weekend? Um, I would suggest stream, streamlining the deck a little bit more. So the red splash is probably not as required, but I just felt like the deck is a bit light on removals, and this okay. is the strongest removal that I have. Right, okay. Uh, generally speaking, should players focus on smaller creatures, more removal, yep. larger creatures, less removal? Um, I would focus on the curve a little bit, a little bit more. So you notice I have a lot of two drops and not a lot of three drops. So I didn't open many three drops as playable. Um, so that's why this card is good. It just allows me to sort of skip uh, my curve. Now I notice you've kept some cards back towards you there. Are, are these the sideboard cards that you yep. exchanged? So this card uh, is underperformed for me. So in terms of playing that card, I probably shouldn't have been decked I didn't have any token or synergy. Um, so I found myself constantly bringing these two cards. Okay. Um, one's a removal card and one is a really useful tempo card. Uh, sometimes I found myself bringing more tricks. So depending on the matchup, um, I might start to chop, chop down my top end. Yep. Um, and then just become more defensive in the early games. Very good. And the blue cards in your side? Um, there wasn't a whole lot of blue cards that was playable. So these were sort of the only other blue cards that I had in my sideboard. Yep. Um, so I was pretty comfortable cutting them. I thought about bringing this in, um, but I couldn't cut another piece. So left it on the sideboard. Well, Simon, thanks for talking us through that. Um, your next move now is uh, top eight draft. Yep. Well, Good luck in that. Thank you. And uh, all the best. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers.